Hello and welcome to SnowRunner. Today we have a first look at, well it's not the first look, I've been doing loads of work in progress on the Hummer and it's pending release so basically this is going to be released a week today. So next Friday it will be out for PC and the console version won't be far behind. Now this one is the console version. This is the Delta Patriot. So this one is ready to go. It's just doing a bit of testing. Well, doing a bit of testing on both of them. Now, if you want early access to the Hammer H1, then if you join Delta Gaming's Patreon, then you can get early access this week. Easy as that. The link for that is in the description. Um, it's not much money. I think it's two and a half pound or three pounds, something like that. It's not a lot of money whatsoever. But if you join Patreon, then you will be added to that. And you can get it now, basically. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait till Friday. So let's go into the garage and I'll show you what options are available for it. As he's added quite a lot on it. As it is the ultimate skate. It really is. It, you can use it for anything. That was the whole idea of him building it. So engine-wise, we have two different engines. We have an A rating and then we have the s plus rating if you want the extra power and then we have gearbox wise three different gearboxes just like that we've got a six speed and then a manual low four speed and then the standard one there and i think we go for the allison automatic well we didn't want the automatic we wanted the manual low that's the one we wanted and then suspensions wise we've got the tack independent raise and then the aftermarket suspension and he's also put this one in which is the tack independent low which is more suited for the standard variant of the Hammer. Tire choices, quite a few tire choices. Now, all terrains. Now, these have got different ratings for them as well. So you'll find that they're not all exactly the same. You'll be able to find what you want and you'll be happy with it. So let's go through them. So the all terrains, we've got the six different ones ranging from the 43s and then we go up to the 46s. Now he hasn't added anything bigger because the 46s they fit he doesn't like them personally where he prefers the 43s and whatever but he fits and they they don't clip and then off-road wise we've got the non-pneumatic tires and then the nitro trip are grapplers and then we've got the sure tracks as well which i wish the light was uh, on the side of it but there you go we can't see properly never mind and then we got some mud tires on there also, we've got the BFGs, the Maz 95s, all in 46 and 43s, and then we've got the Super Swampers, which are my, they are my favourite. Nice looking wheels they are. And then we've got the Inter, Interco Irox as well, which they're another nice looking tyre. He's only added them over the last week or so. And then we've got chain options available. You can see we've got two different sizes, the 43 and the 46. Then winch wise, we've got three different winch. You've got your normal autonomous skate, then a non then extended autonomous, and then your stock one, if that's what you want. Engageable diff. So tire options, we have a rack on the back, which you can fit that or not fit it, just like that. And we'll, we'll leave it off, to, I'll put it on there and show you what it's like. He has got the choice of quite a few of the different tires there. I don't think they're all, well, most of them are there, just like that. So we'll take that off because I don't want that one on there at the, at the moment. And then snorkel, three different snorkel options, just like that. So let's go for the tall one. Then moving on. Now this is all the customization, what he's got, what he added basically. So we've got a Predator back bumper, which you can see he's added that one, which is very similar to the front one. Well, he's done that to match the front one basically. And then we have rooftop. So we've got the alpha extension on there just like that then the exo frame then you got a hard roof the alpha roof rack which goes back all the way and then he's also got the a large roof rack so you can still put that on there if you want it if you haven't got the back on and then he's also got the small roof rack and then the soft top version there and then the front bumper he's got the stock or the predator depending on what you want miscellaneous Short antenna, 
Then we have the Predator bumper lighting. And as you can see, we've got the lights actually in the Predator there. You've obviously got to fit the Predator bumper and then you can have those lights on there. You've got ballistic door plates on it. Fender flares, which is a nice one. And then he's got a go hard or go home on the number plate there. And then he's also got a ripping iceberg. Then side steps, trailer hitch. Next one. Now this is the first scout to have its own radar units. Prototype radar is there for it, which is awesome. Loving that. And then we have the rear frame rack. The slant back closed, then the slant back open. So you can use that one with the prototype if you want. And then it's got fuel on the back as well, on the back of the bumper. And then moving on to more equipment. Now this is all the equipment for the roof racks, basically. You see we've got the, start from the beginning, we've got extra fuel, two loads of extra fuel, uh, depending on which rack you're using. And then we've got recovery ladders, spare wheels on there, and then also toolbox. And like I said, it depends on which rack you're using for which one you've got. See, that one isn't meant for that one. That's why it's locked, just like that. And then we move on to a lighting of areas. Now we've got bi-directional lighting for the alpha roof rack and then bi-directional standard rack lighting. And then that is for the small roof rack. And then we've got the Alpha rear rear lighting, which is uh, pretty nice. He's got high, they, it says a high intensity rear LED lighting and they are really, really bright. It um, makes so much difference going out in the night with this sort of lighting, because he's got the white light on there. Makes so much bloody difference, it really does. And then we've got where are we on LED front bar LED a light bar rear and then the bi-directional alpha rack lighting as well you can see we've got the little lights on the side there uh, depending on which rack you've got that's why there's two different ones available then roof rack lights and then embedded rack lighting and that's for the small roof rack basically which we got the large one fitted anyway now there are a couple of rims available as you can see just like that we got the black rim, the generic uh, chrome rims, and then the gray rims. So let's go for a bit of bling. And then color choices. Now we've got quite a few different options for it where he's gone, done quite a few different camos. And then we've got also got some normal colors as well with the blue, red, yellow, orange, and then black as well. I love the matte black, that is awesome, loving that. And then we've also got it in white as well if that's what you want and then he's got all your bobbleheads and what have you in there if you you want any of that it's there for you and he's also got his own delta air freshener in there just like that so that is what options you've got available now just down here i have a few of the other ones set up where so this one is the patriot so this is the console version now the only difference is is the branding well hang on let's get a little bit further away with that we don't want to smash it up before we start so yeah the only version the only difference is the branding on it that's the only difference on all of them basically they've got all the same options for it and as you can see we've got different tires on some of these here and then that one's got the radar on the back there as you can see just like that works to treat that thing that's why we're calling it the ultimate skate you can do whatever you want with it you really can so let's go over to the go back to that one so let's go and take it out for a spin and i think we're head down this way now i've got the standard suspension on here as you can see we haven't got much of a lift on it but it doesn't prove any problems whatsoever it goes really well it's um we've been testing this well it's been a long time in in the making this when he started this bloody hell you're talking what four or five months ago now easily it was a long long time ago and it's coming so a lot of people were like what can't believe it's coming but it is it's coming next to friday like so like i said if you want early access you can join patreon and get early access for a week and then after that on friday it will be released on pc and the console version 
it might be released on the same day or it might be a couple of days after we're not sure because um that one's still in testing at the moment well this one is the one was in testing but it won't be far below behind it no matter what so i'm really excited that you're going to be getting getting this because it's uh it's excellent it really is now go we got to go inside because attention to detail obviously working mirrors working gauges and everything inside looks fantastic i'm not going to show you what it's like when you turn the lights off because he's got quite quite a bit lit up in the uh cockpit here i'll i'll let you see that when you when when you get it yourself so let's put it back into the auto and let's whack it up through the gears and away we go we'll let head out over the back and do a bit of crawling now i have got the smaller engine on this one where i find the the larger engine is it can be a little bit squirrely at times that one is work in progress with some of the tires it's just finding the right settings for it just takes a bit of getting used to it really does so high put it in high and it will drop the yeah he has done it so it didn't drop down much on the uh oh i suppose it did the fuel consumption so we have got a 120 litre tank and he's added all these add-ons so basically you with with the um well blow it out hang on with the um prototype you should have enough fuel for anything you should be able to go around the whole map and cover the whole map as we've got fuel on the top and whatever and you, you've got the there's the one option where it gives you extra fuel on the back bumper as well but this thing handles amazing i'm really chuffed with it he's done an excellent job and it does go a treat as you can see absolutely flies i tell you what, i wanted to go over the top there but never mind we'll head our way down this way it doesn't really matter as it's only a quick little test to show you what's coming lovely get up that hill whack it through the gears And I thought, what? What's going on? Why did it stop then? I think it was just that rock. It just didn't like that very much. So we go back onto the onto the large rocks. And you see this because when I first seen this low suspension, I thought there wouldn't be enough uh, suspension travel for it. But it's um, spot on. It really is. And works a bloody treat. Right. Hopefully, you drop off thing there nice and slow just like that don't roll it come on see if you can get all the way round without rolling it it would be nice oh i'll tell you what as soon as i say that the amount of times i screw up so when you're inside you've got plenty of visibility and it's lovely love it nice bit of kit really is Oh, slow it down drop over the top of that jobs are good and so let me know in the comments what you think about this bad boy because um i love to know your thoughts on it we've uh, had a lot of response already about it and there's uh, a lot of people excited to get their hands on it and it is getting closer i know it's been a long time in the works but uh this is what happens with modding sometimes sometimes things take their time they really do and i don't think we will go over those obstacles i think we'll head on round to the other rock obstacles and what have you over the far side which is just over over here so we've got all our pipes and what have you set up so you see that suspension moving away slow it down slow it down let's have a bit of control into low bit of low plus and works treat love it really do love it fantastic bit of kit now hopefully it won't be too much on the ram it has been optimized where he has dropped it, it was originally um, 500 just under 500 MBs for the actual file size now that the ram we're not going to know about that until it actually hits console 
but um, he has tried his best to keep it as low as possible with the amount of add-ons he's done and the textures and what have you because it's a lot of time is the textures what take up quite a bit of memory so hopefully it will be low on RAM but like I said it's about um, I think it was 296 megabytes for the file size as well where it was you know at nearly 500 or so so he's managed to drop that right down nearly halved it in fact which is um, pretty awesome I think knock it up through the gears and lovely jobs are good and a nice bit of kit absolutely love it righto well that's it for the first look at the Hummer H1 or the Delta Patriot which is the variant I'm driving at the moment but like I said it's exactly the same there is no difference console I get an exactly the same as what PC gets simple as that so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did always appreciate you smash that like button for me and if you enjoy my content then why didn't you hit that subscribe button always uh, appreciate more subs thanks for watching till the next time goodbye